Hi everybody, it's Wayne Wilson coming to you live on Facebook here from Kelowna, British Columbia for a uh, Sunday afternoon session to do uh, a couple of, uh, couple of different cards that you can use for sending out to all of your families, friends, loved ones, um, etc. So we've done three uh, sets of two so far. Um, we've done a couple of landscape scenes and some flowers and, and carrots. Um, and today we'll do two more, uh, two more cards. And then for next weekend, I'm gonna do something, uh, as Monty Python would say, and now for something completely different. Um, so anyways, um, so we're gonna get going today. We've got about 20 minutes, um, and the last three sessions have been about 20 minutes. They're all up and available on YouTube now as well. If you go to Wayne Wilson, art cards or note cards, something like that, you'll find them there. So, um, you know, I've been standing in front of some of this other artwork that I've been doing. And so this this is my uh, work that I've been doing with, uh, with flowers, kind of abstract pieces here. So, you know, I had this kind of smug attitude at one point about car, uh, flowers, how difficult can they be? But, you know, they can be very difficult. And so um, it took me quite a while before I came up with something that I really... Um, that I really liked and so we've got this kind of flower. It's a generic flower um, But you can tell they're flowers, right? They're not any particular kind of flower, but uh, There we go something I wanted something really dynamic and so I took kind of a base of the flowers here and then just kind of blew them all up um, Anyways, there we go. So let's take a look at these cards now. I'm just going to move this this Facebook Live iPhone over, get it going here. <clears throat> and we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do a couple of cards. So um, we'll start off here. Oh, looks like we're upside down again, so I'm just gonna switch this around. I love technology, not. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, now I'm properly handed for me anyways right handed <clears throat> so we're going to do two cards we're going to do um, radishes and um, and we're going to do um, a sailboat so there we go so we're going to start off with radishes because there's something that we're going to want to do with it that it's going to have to let sit for a little bit it's a little bit of time here. So um, while we're doing this, why don't you just go into the, into the chat bar there and tell us where you're from. That'd be kind of uh, interesting. So radishes, you know, great spring vegetable. Um, I think it was Tom Jones, you know, the famous singer who said, you know, you plant a radish, you get a radish. That's why I like vegetables. There's no surprises in them, right? So radishes, they're kind of round. Um, remember when we did carrots, they're kind of long and narrow. Well, radishes are kind of round, so we're gonna do um, I just do a round radish here, kind of, you know, they're not all perfectly shaped. They've got these kind of funny roots at the bottom. And we're going to do a radish that's kind of half red and half white, you know, that comes down. And just very lightly, just draw across that. And it's not any particular line. It's not a straight line across. And then we'll do another radish over here. Maybe the roots, maybe it's kind of a little bit tilted off to the side there. And then we'll do another one over here. And these funny roots. And we want to draw that kind of squiggly line all the way across that demarcates the point between the red and the white. And then we'll do a, we'll do a rebellious radish off to one side all by itself over here. And there you've got this, this line. Now for the tops of radishes, um, again, just don't worry about getting all of this straight. This is squiggly lines. And remember radishes, unlike carrots, have got a leaf on them. So there's your leaf, right? It's just, you've got some stem to that leaf here and then you've got this, this leaf here. And don't worry about it because you know, when you get them in the vegetables aisle in your store, those, Leaves are all over the place. So there we've got our, our uh, 
we've got our root vegetable, our radishes done. You know, my, my mother actually used to send us to school sometimes, believe it or not, with radish sandwiches. And I actually love them. So we're gonna take a small paintbrush here and we're gonna take just, just clear water. And we're gonna put that water on the top of the radish. Wherever the red is gonna go, that's where you want the water to go. Okay? Remember, you're not building the piano here. Just get it a little bit wet. It doesn't have to be soaking wet. In fact, it's probably good if it's not soaking wet. But there we go. And just follow the, that bottom line, the jagged line, across until you've got all of your, the top of your radish all wet like that. Pretty straightforward. You know, so you've got your round circles for your radishes. You've got this squiggly, ratty kind of leaf at the top, the squiggly lines for roots at the bottom. So this is a radish, as I say, that's going to be half red at the top, and then it fades into the into the white. So take a red after that, and you want to just you want to touch the red into this part here of the radish. And just take it all the way around. In fact, you can just you can you can color in the whole thing, and I'll show you how we're going to darken that a little bit later here. Pick up a little color here. So there's your there's your radishes. I see we've got Paul, we've got Brandy. I know somebody's from the Arctic here has joined in, who knew? Well, the... So, yeah. So there, there's, your, there's your radishes, okay? So you've got your, your, uh, your red in there. Now you're gonna wanna take a little bit of green. And, you know, I'm not too worried about the, the green. The leaves are kind of, you know, once they're in the store, they're, they're a bit ratty. So don't worry about it, just, just kind of, if it, some of it's, don't, don't get into the red yet on that. And then just, if it's all filled in, if it's not all filled in, really, don't worry about it. It's not gonna be, nobody's gonna take you to court on it, right? <laughs> We're not gonna get the, remember I talked about the art police? They're not gonna come after you. I promise. You've got, when you do this, you've got some, you want to maybe add a little bit of dimension. So take a little bit darker green and just add it in to a little bit of a few places here. And it'll just add some dimension to that. Okay. So there's, there's the basics of your radish. And I have to tell you, they're really straightforward. You've got Dorothy here and we've got Colette. All kinds of people stepping in. So we've got this, the red here, and I think I want to add a little bit of dimension to that. So if you take the same red while it's still wet here and get more red on it, but really concentrated red. The interesting thing about watercolors is they always dry lighter than you work in them. So notice how much darker this is here. So let's just color this side a little bit darker red. It's going to start adding some dimension to that, you know. And there's probably a proper way to describe all of this that you know a fancy, a, a really good art teacher would tell you. But I really don't know about those kinds of dimensions, descriptions. So there you go. So there's some, and that'll dry up and and give you kind of a um, 3D kind of view of that. So pretty straightforward. Um, I'm gonna let this dry now for a couple of minutes here while we go on to our next card and have a look at, at that. So there's, there's the card um, that we're kind of looking for. I've done the leaves a little bit differently now. So let's just set this aside and we'll let it dry out. <clears throat> we'll take another piece of paper here and we're going to do um, this is what we're going to do with this is, is the, um, the sailboat. You know, 
in the Okanagan Valley here in the summertime, the sailboats look absolutely gorgeous uh, out there. I, personally, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a sailor. Um, I, those of you who know me, I go on lots of long distance wilderness canoe trips, but um, sailboats, you know, I, I'd like to go out there and sit there and bob in the water. That's about it for me. So, so we wanna take this four inch by four inch card and you wanna draw the bow first, at least I do anyways. So you've got the bow here, and then you've got the gunnels coming off to the sides. Try to make them roughly the same size. And remember the sides, they don't come straight down, they come just in a little bit. And then off to the rest of the bow here. And often sailboats, what you'll see is they've got some kind of little feature on the front, on the, right in the bow here. Maybe just mark that in. So there's the basic hull shape for the sailboat. They've got a cabin on them, so we've got three straight lines here. Straight up, straight across, and straight back down. Another kind of iconic part of the sailboat is the mast. They come straight up, almost to the top there. They're, they're really, I find, really disproportionately tall for the for the, uh, the boat itself. And then maybe put a little cross at the top of the mast. And then you've got this other piece, I'm sure there's a technical name for it, that comes down. So there's your basic sailboat, but the sailboat is in water. So you wanna have some dimension to the water here. So there's this horizon line. And you know, there's kind of waves. So just be, the technical term is squiggly. So be just kind of squiggly about this as the, the waves and the, the motion moves out. And w water has a reflection, so you'll, you'll need maybe just a squiggly line down here for the reflection of the mast. Now maybe the light is coming in from the left here. So let's just color this in a little bit for shade here. So there you go. There's there's the basics of your um, the basics of your sailboat. Really straightforward. And what I want to do is I want to add a little bit of color, but not too much. This is all you know with the with the um, the carrots that we did before, and with the radishes. We, we just want the suggestion of a bit of color. So I'm going to take some blue here, because it's a, a blue sail. And I'm just gonna, just with a f fine little bit of blue here, I'm just gonna draw it down from the top and just, you know, when the sails are down, they're kind of you know, disorganized. I think they are anyways. And that's reflected in the water too. So just a tiny little addition to that will give you really what you need here. What you can do with this is, is really quickly, again, to add some, some uh, weight to this, is take, your, um, take your, your pen here, this is a little micron pen, and you can just go over some of this as well, just very lightly. You know, if it doesn't come out the same lines, you know, I really wouldn't worry about it. If somebody doesn't like your sailboat, Ask them to draw a sailboat and just see how good they do. And I bet you your sailboat's <laughs> going to be better than their sailboat. Not that it's a competition, you understand. Well, maybe it is. So there's, and there's your, remember what, remember what I called these? These are squiggly lines, right? For a little dimension for the reflection in the mast. And then straight down for the mast here. There's your little cross. Top, maybe some radar Loran at the top or something. Um, and again, there's your. This piece in the front actually might be, um, might be a little darker. Who knows? Let's make it a little darker here. There we go. So there's there's a sailboat really. Pretty straightforward. Everybody on the planet is going to know that that's a sailboat. There's not going to be any question to this. So again, you want to title it. 
How about a real complex title again? Sale. And then W, W, 2 O, 2 O. So there's your sailboat. There's the, the second card that we've done. And what I want to do is I want to come back to this piece here. And I want to take this pen again. And I want to just do a, a little light. We've got a little, it hasn't quite dried here enough, but that's, that's okay. It's just kind of add, just, it, it adds a little bit of weight to it, I think. See how careful I'm being with the uh, with the root sound squiggly. It's a whole new vocabulary you're learning here, isn't it? Eh? And then the last one. And these leaves, you can just outline them, you know, a little bit, coming up, and and if you don't follow the same lines as the as the original pencil sketch, you know? Don't worry, as I say, the, the art police will not be after you. And then there. So there's radishes, a great spring root vegetable. I know that it's spring now. We're all looking for root vegetables to come up. The first ones in the spring, they're so succulent. And um, radishes. W, W, two, O, two, O. So there we are. There's two cards. Again, you'll just take these and, and glue them right along the top, just along the top edge here with a glue stick, and then just stick them in. Do you remember what this is called? This is called tipping in. You tip in the, uh, the artwork on it. So there's the radishes, and there's the sailboat. Um, Again, tipped in like that, um, and really accessible. As I say, get these cards um, from your local um, art supply shop or craft shop. They're going to be um, they're going to be what we call achievably priced. Uh, so that's always handy to have, I think. Um, so there you are. There's another two cards for a Sunday afternoon for you. Um, I'm going to be back next week at one o'clock. Um, to do another two pieces of artwork, but they're going to be something different. As I said, um, think about Monty Python. And now for something completely different. Um, but I think you'll like them. Um, we're going to do some sea life, and we're going to do some, um, uh, some treescapes next week. And I'll just, I'll, I'll let it be a mystery for you for that. So um, have a look at these uh, previous ones. They're up on YouTube. I'll get this one up as quickly as I can. Um, and uh, please have a look at my website, uh, waynewilsonart.com. Um, and if you've got questions, just put them into the, um, into the chat bar there or message me separately. Um, I'm more than happy to answer questions. I'm a pretty accessible guy. Um, and there you go. So radishes and sailboats on a Sunday afternoon. Thanks so much for joining in here. I hope you've had fun. Um, thanks Maureen and Kylie and Mark and, and uh, all kinds of people joining in from, um, I see Italy and all kinds of places. So thanks very much and have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.